eight, and this is eight minutes. just west of the Nile and King Ted's body is his actual body is behind this door as you can tell on the distinct markings of this old door you can tell that King Ted is behind the door now we're gonna go follow me oh my gosh are y'all kidding this y'all don't want to miss this King Ted's actual Oh my god, did you see that? Oh my god, you don't want to miss that. <laughs> Wasn't that amazing? So now I'm here with King Ted's great, 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 great granddaughter. <laughs> now we're gonna go get her. So, <laughs> how do you feel about the discovery of your great, 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 great grandfather? It's okay, take your time. I'm happy that his body was discovered. Even though I didn't know him personally, I know that his reign was short and unremarkable. The only reason King Tut is widely known now is due to the fact that his tomb was untouched and intact from the time of his burial and provided archeologists and historians the first accurate picture of that time in Egyptian history. The tomb was discovered by Howard Carter and Lord Caravan and when discovered, became a worldwide sensation. Most archaeologists of the time thought it impossible to find a tomb intact. Most especially King Tut's tomb because they had previously found artifacts with his name on them and figured that they were from his tomb. In the 3,000 years since his death, the tombs have been stripped of anything valuable by grave robbers to be sold for profit. All he really left me was these two pieces. Thank you for being so brave. Back to you, Peggy! Thank you, Sarah, for all that live coverage. Now we're gonna go to a weather break with our weatherman, Leroy. It's real bright! Thanks for the in-depth weather analysis, Leroy. Now with us, we have the two discoverers, Howard Carter and Lord Caravan. While working with famous archaeologist William Flinders Petrie, I had personally discovered many, many important finds. I then was appointed principal artist while working for Edward Neville at the Temple of Queen Heshbert. After all of my hard work and praise, I, had, I've, I was hired by Gaston Maspero, head of Egyptian antiquities, and worked the position of Inspector General of Monuments of Upper Egypt. Then decided to work for my buddy, Lord Caravan. I talked him into more funding for just one more season. And that's when we found the steps leading toward the door with King Tut's name on it. On November 4th, one of Carter's men found a stone step, what appeared to be a stairway leading downward into the rock. Carter then contacted me and I returned to Egypt. And as work began as um, upon my arrival, we found that there, were a, there was a stairway leading to the door with the name King Tut on it. King Tut was buried at the Valley of the Kings, also known as the Valley of the Tombs, which is a long narrow defile just west of the Nile River in Upper Egypt, which was also a part of the ancient city of Thebes, where almost all of the kings are buried. As for no evident reason or cause for death has been found, the bodily injuries convey that he may have died in battle or in conflict. That's it with 8 Minutes with Peggy. Tune in next time.